Hi guys, welcome back to Vio Essentials today. Emergency video as Meta launch a subscription based service for Quest owners. What does it all mean for the industry? Who exactly are they trying to take down as they're of course rivals providing similar services as well? What can we anticipate for this in the industry and how is it going to help everybody? Mm, we're going to talk about this in just a minute. But first, guys, this Friday, we are doing a live AMA Ask Me Anything with the founder and lead developer of Walkabout Minigolf. So we'll ask him about all this. Make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe so you don't miss this live party chat as you could be taking place with us and asking him questions live as well. And make sure to smash the likes, guys, to let us know if these are the kind of videos you want me to do for the future and also to help the video to get promoted by YouTube in their algorithm. All right, without further ado, let's dive into the actual article, guys. So we're here on the uh, TechCrunch website. As you can see, Meta launches new subscription service, MetaQuest Plus for seven US dollars 99. All right, let's go scroll down and see what all this is meant. MetaQuest users can subscribe to a new service that gives them access to the top two titles every month, dubbed MetaQuest Plus. The virtual reality subscription costs $7.99 per month or $59.99 annually, so 60 bucks per year. So does this mean that they're only going to be able to access only two games per month for eight bucks a month, only two? two of the best games or the whole thing. I mean, to me, this reads like you can only access two games and not the whole library. Bit confused. Is that what you guys are getting from this? All right, let's continue reading and see what they say. Um, okay, so carrying on the first hint of the subscription service came in March when a Twitter user discovered a description of a Game Pass feature in MetaQuest app earlier this month, another Twitter user, user excuse me, spotted the title and price of MetaQuest Plus in the app selection of the MetaQuest app. Mark Zuckerberg confirmed MetaQuest Plus on Monday, noting in a statement that it's currently available for Quest 2 and Quest Pro. There will also be a Quest 3 support when the headset launches this fall. Now guys, we also know that Meta launched, of course, a subscription service for Instagram as well as Facebook, providing a whole heap of different things there, including an official take and all these kind of different things. But what you may not also know is it had actually launched a similar service before in the past that didn't work. Let me just um, show you exactly what I mean here. So let me just go to the tab very quickly. And it is here which was in April 16, 2021, guys, discover premium content with subscriptions of the Oculus Quest platform. And let me just read very quickly the introduction for you. Together with the developer community, we're building an ecosystem of game apps and experiences to make VR a compelling destination. As part of the goal of our developers and expanding to new use cases beyond gaming, like productivity, social, and fitness. They're also building robust businesses around their content by the way of subscription services. Now we're thrilled to support these business models by labeling support for subscriptions on the Oculus Quest platform. So there are a whole heap of different games here where basically you could purchase a subscription, you know, uh, a subscription product if you wanted it, but it hasn't really ever, to be honest with you, taken off in fact it's more of a flop than it is a success although you know as i mentioned some of these apps do provide you know the service so it's very interesting to see that now meta are launching indeed their you know their own subscription service to bring all the games to you but the question is as i mentioned before it seems to be only two games per month so i'm not quite sure how that's going to work also how does it work in terms of the actual um you know developers does that mean the developers will, you know, get paid when, you know, Meta are choosing their apps in order to the subscription? So how does it actually in, impact the industry from a, a developer's point of view? We will talk about this with the founder and lead developer of Walkabout Minigolf on Friday. So do make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe to get the lowdown on all of this. Now, let me just show you that at the moment, the king of the actual subscription services 
is indeed, if those, if you're not familiar, is Viport, who for a very small fee, in fact, it's eight Singapore dollars, or the equivalent is 5.99 US dollars per month. It starts from that fee anyway, or it's five pounds 99 per month, or in euros, it is five euros 99 per month. You can basically, and also not to mention guys, excuse me, they actually have a uh, free trial that you can go and sign up for. It's completely free and it's a 14 day free trial. So the actual subscription uh, includes PC VR, all-in-one VR, that means standalone VR, VR glasses, uh, I guess it means compatibility, <laughs> a 14-day free trial, as I said, unlimited access, streaming support, exclusive offers and discounts, premium titles, number of VR titles included, billing cycle, monthly, okay, number of VR titles included, 100 guys, 100 VR titles for eight bucks Singapore a month or six euros or five or six dollars or whatever, six pounds. And compatibility devices, however, Vive Flow and Vive Focus for this one. Now, if you want more compatibility, it will be $18.99 or $12.99 US dollars or 12 pounds 99 or 14 euros 99. And you will have compatibility with the Vive let me just go down here. There we go. Uh, you have compatibility with the Vive, the Cosmos, the Pro, the Oculus Rift and S, MetaQuest, MetaQuest 2 via Link, Valve Index, Windows Mixed Reality, and also the Vive Focus Plus. And I believe that this one here, there isn't more for the most expensive. However, you will get compatibility with a hot access to a thousand plus titles. That is pretty amazing. And for the other one, the only additional that you get, which is this part here, is basically premium titles. So you don't get access to premium titles for this one here, but here the most expensive one, excuse me. No, it's not the most expensive one. Oh, if you pay annually, excuse me, uh, then you also get access to the premium titles. Now, some of the titles that Vive Plus actually have on offer are pretty cool. I mean, look at all these games, guys. Onto the Four, Down the Rabbit Hole, Drunken Bar, Cosmo Dread, uh, cooking Simulator VR, Hyperdash, Gorn. I mean, they have a whole bunch of different VR titles that you can actually have access to. Uh, Synth Riders, I can see here, Everslaught, Survival, Moss, uh, Norman Goblins. I mean, they have literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different titles, guys, that you can have access for really cheap. So again, I'm really not sure, um, you know, how it's going to work with the actual... Uh, MetaQuest subscription because if you're paying eight bucks or seven dollars, whatever it is per month, and you only have access to two titles, I mean, am I getting this right? Let me just double check again that it's only two titles that you have access to. Let's just reread just very quickly again. So, as I mentioned, let's go back to the top. Okay, let's go back to the top. There we go. Uh, so, again, MetaQuest users can subscribe to the new service that gives access to the top two titles every month. I mean, that to me says only the top titles, top two titles every month. So I'm not, I mean, sorry guys for the camera here. I'm not quite sure. I mean, it's great as I guess it's a free trial. Like if you want to try the top two, then, you know, before you buy, then maybe. But titles are so cheap these days inside of these standalone VR headsets. You know, they're between five bucks to like 20 plus dollars. It's not really that much of a bigger deal. And also, if you don't like the title, you can actually ask for a refund so i don't really get the seven dollars here um uh, now apparently there is also a promotion going on where if you buy the first few something you it's for one dollar but honestly speaking i'm not quite sure how happy people will be to put the credit card details which are very personal details details that most people do not want to share to be honest with you uh, although a lot of people it is true for quest would have already put their credit card details so i don't think you need to put it again i think that's uh, perhaps what I just said, I would just cut it out. But, you know, for those who haven't put the credit card details in, I'm not quite sure if they'll be comfortable to put it in just for one dollar. I also think it would be great if they were to provide this service for free when launching the Quest 3 as well for maybe six months or a year or something to just to get people excited to try it out or at least for three months, let's say. Um, so again, I'm not quite sure about the marketing, how it's all going to work, but I don't know, would you pay $8 a month just for the two 
best VR titles? Leave a comment below. Would love to know what you guys think about all this or would you just rather pay double or just a few bucks more to be honest with you and just go with Viveport and just have access to thousands of different games in the library. Uh, you know, not just two, two. I mean, I believe it's only two guys. Let me know if I'm wrong. If you got more information on this or different information as me, then leave a comment below because at the moment, as it stands, it seems like it's only two titles per month. I'm very surprised if it's only two, but that's what the article is telling me anyway. So yeah, I will put a follow up to this video if I'm wrong after now. All right, guys, thank you very much for spending some time together. Very exciting that the industry is progressing, of course, trying different things out. That's all good. Smash the likes, guys. So YouTube promote this video to a wider range of people and we can grow the VR Essentials community. So guys, let's just go to the website of Meta itself because it does seem indeed it's only two titles. So let me just show you this very quickly it does says on this is the meta official website everybody let me just uh focus there there you go so pay less for more uh let me just go up again for some reason it went it scrolled all the way down okay there we go so it does say let me just zoom in for you guys uh introducing metaquest plus a new vr subscription with two handpick titles every month so guys it is only two every month um so i don't know I'm not quite sure what it all means, guys, but um, there you go. And apparently it's only going to be available in the US to begin with before they release it to the world. So we're not quite sure about the dates as to when it will be released around the world, but it will be available um, in the US to begin with. All right, guys, thank you very again for watching this video. I'll see you very soon. Hit the likes and the notification bell for this Friday's Ask Me Anything AMA with the lead developer and founder of Walkabout Minigolf. See you then, guys. Bye for now.